is Destiny Lachey and today I am coming to you guys with a full length makeup tutorial. I owe you guys because I've been gone for so long and I dyed my, well I got new weave and I dyed it red. So I hope you guys like this look. It's definitely very different for me. Totally out of my comfort zone but I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. You guys are going to ask about my hair. I dyed it myself. I created this unit myself. I will have a full length like tutorial on how I dyed it coming up very soon. So I'm really glad to be back on the tube. Make sure you stay tuned, watch the whole video. I have little tips and tricks that will help you throughout your makeup routine and we are going to jump right in. So before applying your foundation, you have to prep your skin. This is essential for having a cake-free, flawless looking face. So what I tend to do before I put on my moisturizer, I apply an oil because my skin has been kind of dry lately. I love applying my tea tree oil. This helps keep my breakouts to a minimum because it has tea tree oil in it. This also has like vitamin E oil, which is great for your skin, as well as a whole bunch of other vitamins that are essential for your skin to stay like nice and healthy and stuff like that. That. Another thing is I've been adding some of this lemon essential oil to this tea tree oil So I put about 20 drops in this bottle. I saw a huge difference in the pigment of my darker areas on my face So this is Holy grail for me right now. So I've already actually applied that oil to my face already So I'm gonna go in and apply my cortisone 10 eczema cream This is essential for me because I do have eczema and this helps keep my eczema breakouts to a minimum and this has just been a great moisturizer for me since high school. I like to let my moisturizer kind of sink in for at least 60 seconds and then I just go in with my primer. If you have texture on your skin or if you have acne, you want to make sure that you prime your face because this will help smooth out the texture of your skin and then when you apply the foundation, the foundation will go on smoother. Like your foundation won't have to do all the work. So I'm going to go in with my Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Primer. This is hands down my favorite go-to primer for smoothing out the skin, making sure the texture on your skin is not as noticeable. So I I love this primer and if you're looking for a more affordable option for smoothing primers I highly suggest the Maybelline baby skin primer this primer is silicone based so it's really great for sinking into the pores and smoothing out those textured areas especially if you have acne so if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know that I like to color correct or conceal my darker areas on my face before putting on my foundation I like to do this because I swear it helps your foundation not to look cakey. I don't wear a super full coverage foundation because in the past I feel as though if I wore a super 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 full coverage foundation it would just make my texture even more emphasized and it would just enhance my bumps on my face or it would just enhance any like fine lines underneath my eyes. It just would not look good. So to conceal the darker areas on my face. I tend to go in with a very high coverage cream or liquid concealer. I love MAC concealers because they're super high coverage and they last all day. Today I'm going to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer Duo and I'm just going to go in and conceal the darker areas on my face. And I just like to tap it in because tapping just presses the concealer into my skin and it makes it look more like skin. Another thing is with this method you don't have to use as much foundation and you save money honestly. So now we're gonna go in with foundation. I'm gonna use the Tint Idol Ultra Foundation by Lancome. That should be no surprise to you guys. I use this all the time. It's great with textured skin. It does not enhance the texture of your skin. I've used so many foundations in the past and this is the only one that I found that A, lasts me all day if I prime correctly and it does not emphasize that texture on my skin. That is like the main thing that I look for in a foundation. I dot it in the areas that I did not apply concealer and I honestly have been just rubbing the foundation in with my finger on my nose. I don't know why. So I'm going to take a foundation brush and I'm going to pat the foundation in and I like to press the foundation in 
um, instead of kind of swirling it in because it just sinks into the skin and it helps it not to look cakey at all. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more foundation to my brush and just pat it into the skin. So I used the wrong color foundation. I actually just went in with 510 um, and I was supposed to use 500. Crap, it's okay. So with my brows, I've been doing something completely different. I actually was using this method like before I even started filming YouTube videos. So I'm going to brush up my hairs, my eyebrow hairs, with a spoolie or a brush rather and then I'm gonna go in with this BH Studio Pro ultimate brow palette and this is amazing for filling in the brows it doesn't make your brows look as harsh and I know I've been guilty of that in the past so I'm gonna go in with these two colors here Just to go in and correct my brows, I'm going to use my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. And I like to do this because it helps clean up my eyebrow area if I make any mistakes. And it just makes the brow look a lot cleaner. So now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. For my base today, I'm going to use my concealer. I'm just going to go on my eyelids. And put the concealer all over my eyelids and this is just gonna help our eyeshadows to pop a lot more and also conceal the dark lids that I have <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier powder and my Graftobian banana cream powder mixed together and I'm gonna use that to set my eyelids this just helps the colors to blend a lot better on the eyelid so that um, the concealer is not as tacky. So I'm gonna go in with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek, this color right here. And I'm gonna use that same fluffy Morphe 511 brush. And I'm gonna apply this right above my crease area in this kind of motion, like a U kind of motion. Like a half circle rainbow something <laughs> like this and I love using cocoa bear as a transition color especially on darker skin because it's so warm it's so nice I don't know as you can see I've hit pan on it I use it all the time almost every time I do my makeup honestly and this does not have to be perfect just make it really dispersed and make sure that it's blended for blending especially in the transitional area right here like your first color that you put down Try blending and using your hand down here. Do not blend like this because this will make you have a very heavy hand. So I tend to blend like this because it makes it easier not to make a straight line. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. This is Fudge by Anastasia, I believe. And I'm going to use that same blending brush. This is a pretty big blending brush, but I want this to be kind of dispersed. And I'm just going to use circular motions in the outer portion of my eye and blending out at the same time so I'm gonna go in with this NYX jumbo eye pencil this is in the color pure gold this is gonna make the gold color that we put on top of this pop even more So I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's Legend by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to apply that with a synthetic haired eyeshadow brush. I'm sorry I did not zoom in, guys. Oh my goodness. Let me zoom in now so you guys can see what the eyes are looking like. I'm so sorry. I should have zoomed in. So I'm going to take this Morphe 503 brush and this is messed up but it still works 
and I'm just going to blend out that gold color so that it's not so harsh I'm not really going for like that cut crease look I just want it to look a little bit softer so now I'm gonna go in and do my wing liner I'm gonna use this Inglot gel liner and I'm gonna take this little small liner brush and I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner my liner is trying to play me today it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen Okay. Okay. You gotta be kidding me right now. Okay. I'm gonna fix it with my concealer later on. Oh! I was not going for this dramatic of an eye today. I really wasn't. So now I'm gonna go in with my lashes. These are from Lachey Lashes. Yes, it's my lash line. I will have the link to everything where you can purchase down below. So now I'm going to go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes as well as highlight. I'm going to take the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer mixed together and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes and then blend it out with a beauty blender. So since I did such a dramatic wing, I'm going to take some of that concealer from underneath my eyes and make sure that the beauty blender doesn't mess up this wing right here and I like to look up doing this because it gets in the creases of my eye and it just looks better and I just take the butt of the beauty blender and blend out the edges so that it's not so harsh now immediately after Putting my concealer down, I like to set it. I'm gonna go in with, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna use my setting powder. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder and set underneath my eye. And this is gonna make sure that our concealer doesn't crease underneath there. because mine definitely will if I don't do this. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm gonna highlight the rest of my face. I'm um, just gonna take a little bit down the bridge of my nose, some right here above my lip, a little bit on my chin. These are the areas that you would like to bring forward and bring attention to. So that's why, another reason why I don't put concealer on my forehead. I do drag the rest of the product up, but I don't usually like highlight that area. A trick that I've been using for years and years and years is after I set my under eye area with my translucent powder or my banana powder, whatever, I go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this just helps the translucent powder not to flash back. And it also helps your under eye area to look nice and flawless and photoshopped and creamy and I don't know it just looks so much better once you go on top of this powder I promise you once you try it you will never look back powder. and I'm just gonna sweep the powder underneath my eyes so since this highlight underneath my eyes is just not popping for me right now I'm gonna take this MSF the same powder but in a different color this is in the color medium dark and I'm just gonna go on top of that because I need it to be a little bit brighter in this area and I just use this powder everywhere that I place concealer so for contour today I'm gonna use my Anastasia contour kit I'm gonna take this color right here this is a nice warm bronzy color and I'm gonna place this color in the hollows of my cheeks right here now I love using my covergirl queen bronzer for this step but I can't find it I don't know where it is or you can use like the Bobbi Brown bronzer if you have that just anything to warm up the face and I just bring that along my temples as well I really don't have to do this side because my hair is gonna be covering it just bring it up by my brow area I'm just gonna do my jawline as well 
This helps chisel your face a lot more too. And I don't like to contour very harshly because it just doesn't look that good on me. And I just like to do the sides of my nose as well, just with the fluffy brush. I don't like to contour my nose too much. Now that we're a little bit more bronzy and our face is coming alive, I'm going to take this darker color, I believe it's Carob, and I'm just going to do this, the fish face, and contour right here near my ears. I like to do a transition color first, so like a nice warm bronzy color first for my contour. And then I go in with a darker color so that it doesn't look as harsh. And I just keep this color near my ear. It'll look like nothing is coming off of your brush. Like at this point you'll be like, what am I doing this for? But trust me, you can tell, especially in pictures and um, in person. So now I'm going to take my favorite highlighters. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit in the color Sun Dipped. I'm going to take the color Bronze and I'm going to use that to highlight my face. Highlighting just adds something to your makeup that I can't explain. It just, I don't know, it just adds a oomph and like a bang to your makeup. I just can't explain it. it Highlighting leaves me speechless. So I'm going to use a small Ruby Kisses brush for this. I used to use a fan brush, but um, I've noticed when I highlight with a fan brush, I overdo it. So I like to go in with a small little fluffy brush because it's more detailed and precise and I can get it exactly where I want it. Tap off the excess and I'm just going to apply that right above where we contoured. And I'm just going to kind of blend it out. And I'm just going to bring it around this area and just make sure it's nice and blended. If you do have a lot of texture in this area, I would highly suggest not highlighting um, right here or just lightly highlighting this area because any place that you highlight will bring attention to that area. So beware. So I'm going to put a little bit on my nose area and on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to put a little bit on my cupid's bow here. And I'm going to take the excess and put it on my chin. I'm going to take a little bit because I'm feeling super extra. And I'm going to put it on my brow bone. For blush, I'm going to use Desire by Makeup Geek. I'm going to take that same brush, dip a little bit in there, tap it off, smile, and blend it. This just adds a little bit more color to my cheeks. Now I'm going to line my waterline. I'm going to take this Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeliner. This eyeliner is seriously the best eyeliner that I've ever purchased in my life. Yes, it is. And it's a drugstore and it's affordable and it does not run. So now I'm going to spray my face with this Scandinavia spray. I actually put the Scandinavia spray in this Tatcha bottle because I had this much of the Tatcha spray left. So I just poured it in there. And I like this kind of spray bottle better. So I'm just going to spray my face. This is just going to help our face to look even more like skin. And this helps a lot with setting your face and making it last all day. I love to spray a lot of that spray. First, it makes your highlight pop. Second, it makes your skin look super healthy. And third, I just like the feeling of it. <laughs> I'm taking my Better Than Sex mascara and going in and doing my lashes really quick. For the lips, I'm gonna use MAC Chestnut Lip Liner to line my lips first. You guys know I love a dark lip. I'm gonna use one of my Oldie But Goodies. This is LA Splash Cosmetics Lip Couture. This is a waterproof lipstick and this is in the color Vampire. This is just so dry and crusty right now. If you have Max Media lipstick, this lipstick color is super close to it. I just want to thank you for sticking around for the whole video. And I want to remind you not to forget to check out some of my other videos. They're right here. All you have to do is click them and watch a whole bunch of my other videos that I've created just for you. So go ahead and enjoy those videos. I'll see you in the next one.